We have been driving this tuk-tuk across Sri Lanka and today we are making the trip from Gaul all the way to Ella. It's about 200 kilometers away and you may not think that that takes that long but it takes about... Hi, Hi, but it actually takes about seven hours. This is why. This triple scene is going from the beaches into the heart of the country. Driving through local villages, meeting some local people, seeing some stunning rice terraces and hopefully seeing an elephant. Let's go. All right, so we are leaving. We have packed up and it is pouring rain today. He's so cute. Oh, he's coming with us. Come with us. Bye, baby. Fluffy. <laughs> Well, it is a very rainy and, well, rainy and unpleasant day. So we have a seven hour or more, because it's wet, journey ahead of us today on the Tuk Tuk. Let's see how this goes. On today's agenda is to see some elephants in the wild. I've been to ethical elephant sanctuaries in the past, but I've never seen a truly wild elephant in all my time of traveling. I'm a little bit worried about how territorial they can get if we pass through their home, but the chance to see them up close and personal is too good to miss. So I really hope that we do get the chance. All right, so we've just passed a sign that says elephant crossing. Four of my eyes, two of Michael's eyes, <laughs> looking for these elephants. So hopefully we'll come across one and hopefully they don't charge us. This tuk tuk doesn't go very fast. <laughs> Not faster than an elephant at least. pulled over just for a split second to have a look at these beautiful rice terraces. They are not hard to come by during this trip already. They're absolutely beautiful. A bad view is impossible so far, but we have so much of the trip left to go and we don't want to waste time. It takes about, yeah, seven hours and we're probably not even one down. Let's keep going. With seven hours ahead of us, we really needed to find a way to pass the time. Luckily, our Tuk Tuk rental company provided us with something to help us do just that. Go back, baby! <laughs> After tiring ourselves out, it was time to find some food and experience a little bit of life off the beaten path in Sri Lanka. All right, so we have just stopped, pulled over um, for the first time. We haven't even had breakfast yet. We just left. See if we can pick up maybe some bananas. Ugh. There we go. Yep. Forget how he showed us to do this, if I'm being honest. Let's see what they have here. I bought a uh, banana. 100 rupees one kilo. 100 rupees one kilo. How many do you reckon that is? Half a kilo? Half a kilo? Yeah. Half. Half a kilo? Half, yeah, please. Half. Yeah, yeah. Got drinks in there. Seven up. What is uh? What's this? What's this one? Egg rolls. Egg rolls. Uh, spicy. Yeah, yeah. I'll oh, have you'll have one. I'll have one. Yeah. Okay, we'll have two. Two. Decca. Decca. How much? Two hundred thirty. Two hundred thirty rupees. Still tea. Thank you. Do you have tea? Tea. No tea. Okay, all right, thank you. Still tea. I don't know how to say tea in Sinhalese. Sinhalese? Sorry, I'm a bit scared if you're new to my she, channel. She went, goes to, is it spicy? And she went, yes. <laughs> and I went, yes. <laughs> but the thing is, is that I love egg rolls. I had it in my first day. I'll leave it on the screen in Colombo. I think I can taste the spice and I just put my tongue on it. I ready? love the crispy outside. And the batter These egg rolls and the egg had, on the inside is nice. Too. And all this egg, it is spicy. I can like literally taste the chili already. But the crispiness just made this so good. And like the the, the mushy inside yeah, egg. It's it's the it's the it's just spicy though. <laughs> so <clears throat> tasty. <laughs> this would be one of my favorite foods I've had abroad, like traveling in a yeah. year and a half, if it wasn't spicy. It would be the perfect breakfast ever. Oh. I like the fried bananas, yeah, yeah. like from the Philippines and oh, yeah, India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, but this is a close second if it wasn't yeah. spicy. Hi, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this even though it's spicy. It's not sweet, which you might have an egg roll, but it's almost like a spring roll. Yeah. Filled with egg. But the outside's different to a spring roll. It's like bready, bread crummy. And it's so bread crummy. It's like hard. It's. 
fish spot is perfect. I could eat these all day. Yeah, same. Even though this is spicy, I'm still eating it. That's how good it is. We just stopped randomly because we saw some bananas. And look at this. Look at this. Honestly, Sri Lanka is stunning. I've been saying that all my videos here, but it really is. We've driven for three hours now and we have not found something that looks bad. <laughs> this is absolutely a beautiful country. It needs to go like that. It's a lot easier when he did it. All right, I have no hands. I'm in the back of a tuk-tuk here, but I'm gonna try one of these bananas. I don't generally like the small ones because they're a bit like too soft. Generally eat the big like bananas when they've just gone yellow from being green. So I don't know, I'm very particular with my bananas in case you can't tell. What? This doesn't taste like a banana. What does it taste like? It's like eating a banana cake, but in an actual banana. Super sweet. Oh my God. It's different. Oh my that's like candy. Isn't it? That's so good. It's a good banana, right? That is so good. And then look. We should have got a kilo. A kilo? Yeah. Do you know how many carbs are in bananas? Absolutely not. Not enough. After tasting heaven in the Sri Lankan bananas, we began to sneak through the green Sri Lankan mountains, meeting wonderful people and seeing amazing sights until we had our first problem with the tuk-tuk. We can't get it back in neutral. So we're like, because I pulled over in second, and turn the engine off and normally it just goes back in the usual. I think because we're on like crappy grass. Oh yeah. Message him. <laughs> it's hot. Yeah, but it's beautiful. I don't mind being stuck here. I'll message our mechanic. He said that you try the rocket like a baby method, which I forgot about. That the rock, the tuk-tuk back and forward while changing the gear and you got it. We've got it. It worked. It worked? It worked. We're in neutral. We it can, worked? We can move again. Yes. <laughs> it worked. Pro tip for you, rock it like a baby to get it back in neutral. <laughs> and you're good to go. So it was beautiful even when it was raining this morning, but now that the sun has kind of come out, um, today it's even more beautiful and you can see all of the greenery, Lovely. more people are out. But we need to stop for fuel, um, so we're trying to find somewhere in this small little town for some petrol. So 500 meters this way, right? We have to turn right here. You're turning. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, it's all over the road. Hello, brother. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. Oh, further, 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 more, more, more. Okay, okay. So now we have to fill up. I think we have a little bit to go, but he was saying that every 200 kilometers. Um, so we just want to be sure, sure and safe. Full? Yeah. Full. Perfect, that'll get us there. Two seven. Three. There you go. Okay. Two seven. Okay. One, two, three. Yeah. Still tea. Thank you. It must have been fuel. Bye! Trip so far has been awesome, except for the whole guessing whether it's gonna rain or not, which is our fault for coming at this time, I suppose. It's rainy time. Um, we have to dodge a lot of dogs on the road to make sure if you are driving, you keep an eye out for uh, the dogs and also the big trucks and buses. They just zoom past you at what feels like 200 kilometers an hour. So Michael was just telling me that Sri Lanka has two monsoon seasons. And I think it's one of the only places that do have that. Uh, in the southwest, southwest where, we just were. where we just came from, um, there's a monsoon, it's monsoon season now around July. Um, and then if you go into the north, East, uh, there's a monsoon season sort of early next year, early in the year, January-ish. So you can kind of go from one side of the country to the other if you wanted to avoid monsoon seasons. You could do in like two days. <laughs> Which yeah, you could do in two days or less if on a tuk-tuk, so. We should see less rain as we move into the mountains. Right. Well, actually, we might see more because we're going up higher and that's where rain is, but we should see less monsoon or temperamental weather like we have right now. Not great road through here. Oh. Now, 
This is the first time in the whole trip we haven't had flat gravel or asphalt on a road. It's dirt. It feels like we're going more into the wildlife, the na natural habitat, and more of the like remote villages from here. So hopefully we'll see some more wildlife and some more animals. These little bakery tuk tuks are bakery so cute. Oh, what a place to be, hey? I love them. Stop in the middle of basically nowhere because I saw this guy with some watermelons. I boy. Oh, yeah, back there. Watermelon. And you want a coconut? One coconut. Yeah. Just one? Just one. Uh, Eka? Is it Eka? Eka. Uh, 100. 100 rupees? Yeah. Uh, just Eka for one. And then watermelon. Oh. Can you cut Can you cut it? Okay. Okay. How much is that? 160. So 260. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Stuti. I have been wanting a wall. I've been wanting a watermelon, but um, I haven't found anyone to cut it yet. So this guy has a big. Yeah. 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 I don't know what that is. What's that? Some nuts, like cashews or something. And these are like weird-looking watermelons. If they're watermelons, I don't know what they are either. <laughs> Maybe mangoes. I don't know. So good at that stuff. There's actually a lot of, of water in there. Uh, one, two. one, yeah, Eka. You want a shorty? No, I will share. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. And the watermelon? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, but cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Drawing of the elephants. Look at that. Lots of elephants here. Yeah. Elephants? Uh, uh. On the street? Yeah. Whoa. I haven't seen any yet. What? Hi, boy. <laughs> He's laughing. He's laughing. <laughs> Five. Okay. Yeah. Two thirty. Yeah, it's okay. Two thirty-nine. Slicing it open for us. Yeah, delicious. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Stuti. Yeah, I'm gonna munch on that. <laughs> Stuti, thank you. Thank How much? You. Two, three, three forty? Three hundred thirty rupees. You just keep four, that's okay. For you. Okay. Thank, thank you, you Stuti. Thank you. I want to try. Leave some for me. You've drunk the whole thing. It's I all didn't gone. Think you any. Oh, you know what? That is the nicest one. It's the best one so far. That's the best one we've had in Sri Lanka. Oh, actually, it's so good. And the banana was really good too. So does the fruit just get like better? Oh, hi. Okay. Does fruit just get better the like further inland you go or something? Because two of the three things we've had today, well, mm -hmm. we're about to have some watermelon, which I bet is bomb watermelon. Can I put this? Is that the bin? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Stilty. Thank you, Stilty. All right, go. let's go up here. Bye-bye. That was really, really good. That was actually, honestly, my favorite coconut. Hi. <laughs> Alright, let's get back in the tuk-tuk and let's keep going. I really want to find an elephant, but I know that we're going to see the bridge at the end of the day. What's the bridge called? Bridge the Nine Arches Bridge. That's the plan. Bye! <laughs> Refreshed from our fresh fruit and powered by King Coconuts, we set off with a renewed hope that elephants may be around. We even saw our first glimpse of Sri Lankan wildlife getting some sun on the hot roads. Oh. Oh. Well, we haven't seen any elephants yet, but maybe hopefully when we get closer to Ella, maybe. Once you got out of Colombo, you can drive a car here easily if you didn't want to do tuk tuk. Yeah. It's true. a really easy place to drive. These are hard to drive, <laughs> but the roads are easy to drive. There's not much traffic.
day update. It is really hot now. So it's just past quarter past two. So we've been going since before, I don't know, eight, but about 7.38 7 in the morning. So we're both hot now. The sun is shining, that's for sure. As we got closer to Ella Town, it seemed as if our luck with the elephants had run out. And it may be something we need to push back further into our Sri Lanka trip. Luckily, we came across a small tea stall run by an amazing family. So we are pretty much just in the mountains now of Ella, the outskirts, and the tuk-tuk is not having a very easy time. There's a lot of mountain, obviously, and hills and everything, and it's just, it's struggling. Let's see if this lady has tea. Hi, Do you have tea? Tea? Yeah. Uh, tea? Oh, tea. Yeah, tea. Uh, how much? One tea. Eka. Eka. Tea eka? Tea Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, how much rupees? Uh, tea. Try one. again. Do it again. One hundred. One hundred? Two. Okay, we have eka. Eka. What's on your face? I don't know, every soot. You got a big... <laughs> eka. Eka. Oh, oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Stuti. Thank you, brother. Stuti. Curry. Curry. Oh, no, no, no. Just, just, just <laughs> Regular tea. Kitty copy. What do you like? Maybe You like that one? Uh, tea, tea, tea. C Ceylon tea? Uh, Ceylon tea? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it oi? Oi? Oh. Oh? 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 Uh, yes? Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, Magana Majorsi. My name is Tarushan. My name is Tarushan. Tarushan. <laughs> nice. <laughs> English is good. Okay. <laughs> Yes, yes. Got heaps of them down on this street here. And this is the big mountain that goes all the way up to um, Ella and the and the bridge too. So we're on the almost there. We're probably about 10 15 minutes away. <laughs> Thank you. Camera. <laughs> See? See my face? You can hold? Very heavy. There we go. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> and you can film yourself like this. Ready? You see? Mm. You can hold? There you go. <laughs> Tea. Beautiful. Thank you. Stuti. All right, we'll try it. It's in a full mug. It's like her own personal mug. Oh, it's hot, but it's good. Good. <laughs> Mm. I love my tea sweet. That is very nice for me. How old are you? Mm? Are you five? Six. 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 <laughs> Big. <laughs> Just the tea bag tea, but it's nice. Yeah, it is nice. The milk is the same. So she's done the milk. The froth like, milk. Like uh, pulled it too. Yeah. yeah and yeah. The, it's just like sweet milk. I love, awesome. I love sugar in my tea. So I'm awesome. happy. Look how big it is too. Yeah. He's six. We got Eka, Deka, Tuna, Tuna, Tuna Atra, yeah. Atra, Paha, Paha, Ba, Haya, Haya, mm. you, Haya, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ella, Ella? Is that way? Yeah. Yeah. Ella. 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 Yeah. We come from, where do we come from? Gaul. 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 We drive from Gaul. Where, you Marissa? Marissa? Diwala. Diwala? Diwala. Diwala. Yeah, Diwala. Go. We drive from there to Ella. Gewal? Gewal? No. No. They think you. Gal. Gal. Gal? Yeah. We drive from Gal to Ella. Gal. Long time. Gal drive Ella. Sweet. Yeah, sweet. Yum, you can dress though. Yeah, I will. Delicious. You said 100, right? You have two. There you go. It's for you. Thank you. No, no, it's for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Stuti. 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 
Bye. 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 <laughs> Thank you. You want me to hold it? Yeah. Good. You good? I got all the junk off my face finally. Here's your friend again. <laughs> Bye. <See you. laughs> Things like my hat weren't gross. I'd give, him, give it to him. Yeah, good. don't give him that. <laughs> you know it smells. We want to get to Ella before this rain starts too. That's probably the main thing we want to do. Yeah, get in. Chauffeur. We don't want to get stuck. How many rupees to Ella? Uh, you price, you name. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> now my mum at home makes the best tea that I like, but honestly, that was a close second. That was up there. He's lucky. His mum makes the second best tea. This is insane. We're heading. We're not far away from where we're staying now, but we're in um, Ella, and the mountains here are just, are just crazy. We're looking over this side. We see, holy moly, we see this. And then we're driving along, and we look on this side, and there's a major, massive waterfall. Whoa. I, I felt like this when we were in Munar and, and everything, but the camera just never does these places, these hills justice, ever. A little tuk-tuk struggled to climb the steep mountains of Ella as we approached Little Adam's Peak and the Ella Gap. But to be honest, this trip is worth any struggles we have found. The scenery we have seen along the way is almost as beautiful as the warm and welcoming people of Sri Lanka. Powered by the fresh fruit and the breeze of the tuk-tuk, this is one of the best things I have done in all of my travels. Made better by the wonderful country I am in. Yep. Hi, boy. Hi, boy. Right. Oh, long drive. We made it. Yeah. Thank you. Midday. <laughs> Maybe ten o'clock. Nine thirty. Nine thirty. Ten. Is that okay? Yeah, I'm fine. gonna be sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, there is mine. Yeah, I just fucked it. Why? Yeah, why you fucked it? The last two nights you told me to turn it off anyway. I need it more than you, so don't worry. Alright, so we have a big balcony. That's our tuk tuk down there. And then this is the room. You kind of shared with. Everyone else, she just walked that way to their room and whatnot. But our space is out onto here. You have this big, uh, looks like king, uh, queen or king bed, I'm not sure. Fridge, tea, coffee, place for your bags, little place to get ready. Hedra, towel rack, and Michael's in the bathroom. All right, I'm not gonna lie to you, I am exhausted after today and I didn't even drive, so Michael must be feeling it really hard. We have two nights here. Um, we're supposed to be going to see the Nine Arches Bridge, which is one of the things I wanted to see in Sri Lanka. But from here, tuktukrentals.com are gonna come and pick up the tuk-tuk. If you haven't thought about doing a tuk-tuk drive across Sri Lanka, you totally should. It has been worth it. Um, and we went through tuktukrentals.com. They gifted us the tuk-tuk for the trip. Um, there's a discount code or a link in the description. So go check them out. So we'll be catching a train from here in Ella to Candy. I just really wanted to catch a train and you'll see why in the coming videos. But for now, I feel like I need a rest. Oh, okay. Bed's not as comfy as the last place. But let us rest for a second. That was a seven hour drive non-stop basically besides a coconut. Have a quick rest. I need a recharge. All right, so it is the next morning. I don't think I mentioned, but this place is about 27 USD. Oh no, I'm tired. AUD, so our money um, a night, which is probably like $15 USD, which is absolutely crazy. This is the spread we came out to for breakfast. This is worth all of this, this is amazing. Like, it's a little family owned, what it looks like to be a family owned um, little homestay. It really feels like we're staying in someone's house. Yeah. And it's really good value for money. It honestly wasn't even that bad without aircon. Yeah. After about the midnight mark, it went cold because we're in the mountains and it, it was fine. Oh, hello. Hi. Um, I got laundry. Is that okay? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And for the room, yeah. do we pay card or only cash? Uh, yeah, only cash. Okay, we have to get some money out. So we're going to go get our tickets now for the train tomorrow. And we'll get some, maybe some local food. I want to try... Here in Ella. I want to try Katu Roti. Katu Roti. Katu. Okay. So for my first proper look in Ella town, it's definitely touristy. There's like... You know, Western cafes everywhere. I didn't get the best coffee, um, but there's like pizza shops, pasta shops, burger shops. And there is definitely lots of tuk-tuks trying to get your business. Make sure you do look up local prices. Um, they haven't really been given to us very much here, but. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hi, can we pick up tickets here? 
It's for tomorrow. Oh, I have photos. I don't have the passport with me. No. Do you have a picture of your passport? Yeah, I can get it for you. Sorry, my hands are fit. Thank you so much. That's, That's all? it? Yeah. Okay, thank awesome. you. Thank you. Perfect. Let's see numbers. All right, so we have Where's our tickets go? to Candy for no, tomorrow. To I've won. Thank you. Yeah, sit here. One. Can we get the cheese and chicken kotu? One. Just, Just one. one. We'll share. Eka. So this is a bit of a more local restaurant, but they still catered to Western and had like some kind of like cheese and bacon tortillas and things like that. Tortilla. Um, tortilla. I'm not saying tortilla. <laughs> tortilla. <laughs> tortilla. <laughs> on the menu. Um, but we're on the first floor here. So we have a cool view of the street in Ella here, which is awesome. It's got tea in, in this place. Oh, it looks real good, doesn't it? You're gonna fall in love with this. Really? I'm super angry we haven't had this tuna in this trip. For real? It's like, so homely. All right, I'm super interested now. So what it is, is it's cut up roti, like chopped up roti, and then just obviously mixed with the ingredients that we chose, chicken and cheese. And veggies. And veggies. Okay, yeah, it's delicious. Isn't it great? Yeah. Wow, I did not actually expect a lot of <laughs> It's like roti sweet, but mixed with chicken and veggies. A little bit of roti chano. Okay, I didn't expect that. So we are on the way walking to Nine Arches Bridge now. You have to come and see it if you're catching the train from Ella to Candy or Candy to Ella. It's actually one stop past Ella. Okay. So if you want to see it, you won't go over it in the train. So you've got to come and see it on foot. Ah, there you go. I mean, you can book one extra station and then get a tuk-tuk in from there, I guess. But most people don't, and most trains don't. It's important to know that there are many ways to get to the bridge. You can get a tuk-tuk down, you can walk the tracks from one of the two stations on either side, you can even be dropped by a car quite close to the bridge itself. We chose the two kilometer hike through the jungle. There is no more stairs in that so I'm not a happy chappy. Which ended up being a great way to cap off an incredible two full days of travel. But I'm fit. It's just there, look. Here's the first glimpse. Wow. Yeah, almost there. All right, so we are walking across the tracks. The train is coming soon though, so look at this. <laughs> wow. By the way, the price to get back is 500, but apparently people say they never give the price here. Uh, where are we going? Train station? Yeah, Ella Town. Ella Train station? How much? 2,000. 2,000? 2,000 is too much. It's about 500 for a ride. No, no. It's just local people also play like same price. Well, yeah, they yeah, pay 2,000. Anyway? Yeah, well, let's go. How much can they do? The price is 500. I'm not going to Colombo. No, no. <laughs> you check first in Google Maps how long they drive this way. Okay, check. Yeah. 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 Anything more than that is overcharging. It's okay, we'll walk. It's alright. I could literally, I could literally get to Colombo for that much. <laughs> it's, no, it's, nah, not quite. It's but you know, two here from town. So why is it two thousand from here? Back. Know yeah. Got you. <laughs> oh well, we're walking now. We'll work off our pizza. Yeah, we're about to eat some carbonara. <laughs> Upscale for tourists. It's fine when you're on a two-week holiday. It's fine, but when you're traveling full-time for two years, I can't afford to pay five times the price everywhere I go. There is something special about Sri Lanka. There's a friendliness from the local people that comes from a pure heart. They know their land is a paradise, but instead of gatekeeping it, they want to share it with us, with you and with the world. Driving our little red tuk-tuk across this country has taught me a few things. That the world is beautiful, the people in it are friendly, and that doing things that might scare you, such as learning to drive a tuk-tuk and driving it across a foreign country where you don't speak the language or even really know where you're going, can sometimes lead to the best experiences. We really got out of our comfort zone with this one, and thanks to Sri Lanka, we were rewarded in every way.
If you like this video, you'll love my other Sri Lankan videos. I've picked the best one for you and put it on the screen for you to watch right now. See you in the next one.